Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I just want to use this uh, this video as kind of an update to my uh, Linux challenge. And uh, I, I want to talk about going down the rabbit hole of Linux, which is exactly what has happened to me again. And what I mean by that is, uh, is uh, distro hopping and... Um, yeah, I'm I'm in the thick of it. So stick around. Let's uh, let's have a conversation about this. All right. So in the previous video, uh, I started off with uh, KDE Neon, and you know, honestly, uh, I wanted it because of pl of Plasma Six. I wanted to try um, a distro with the newest, um, you know, the KDE environment. I like I like. Uh, the idea of KDE, I like the way that it looks. I mean, if you're going to have an OS, you might as well have an OS that, that looks good and that you can do something with. I subsequently found out from, uh, from one of the comments uh, on the video that uh, you're not supposed to install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers on it, which is exactly what I did. Um, I didn't actually have any issues with it. But I thought to myself, why set myself up for potential future problems? Um, so let's just move on. And, and that was it. I washed my hands of KDE Neon. And then so I went, okay, I want to try, let's just do something with, with, uh, with Arch. Because, uh, you know, I, I've messed around with it, but I've never actually really used it. So I installed Cache OS. And, you know, completely blew away my old system. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, this one here was, it was, um, it, it's beautiful. It looks good. It's got uh, the KDE desktop. But I had problems, um, specifically with OBS. And, um, yeah, I just, uh, I guess it's the typical thing that happens to, to people whether you're seasoned or new is you hit some roadblock or whatever and that's it you're done you you move on so again i i'm like okay well let's let's go to something you know debian based or debian or however you pronounce that and i found ubuntu studio and i was like oh i've never heard of this let's install ubuntu studio so i installed that and immediately problems with OBS and uh and it was just driving me freaking nuts right so I spent some time on that and you know eventually I, I did get OBS working um and the, the problem with OBS was that when I would add a source which was the screen I would just get nothing I'd get a black screen I ended up changing the uh the option on the login screen where you know you can have like x11 or wayland or whatever i put it on x11 and that fixed my problem but it just was like it just irritates me that like why do we have these little problems that that it's always prevalent in anything you want to do with linux there's always like some little irritating thing that that just drives you nuts right and so, okay, I'm going to just go back to what I know. I'm going to go back to Linux Mint. So I installed Linux Mint. I then installed the uh, Plasma 6 um, environment. And that didn't go very well. I mean, I eventually got it. And uh, I ended up just moving, uh, removing the Cinnamon um, environment completely. And then I had a problem with the login screen. It just wouldn't switch to the theme it was supposed to be on and the, 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 uh, on-screen keyboard kept coming up every time I tried to sign in. I did fix that with, uh, just applying a, a, a global plasma six theme and that, that fixed it. Um, but then again, I was like right back to OBS problems again. And the problem I had on, uh, in OBS this time was that no matter what I did with my mic, the, I would record audio and it was completely pegged out and garbled. And I tried adding filters. I tried turning the input gain down. I tried, I mean, you name it. I just, it just, I couldn't fix it. So here we are. I'm on a plain Jane Linux Mint install like I always do. <laughs> and 
and then yeah back full circle again so i i basically just got this installed and got obs and the proprietary nvidia driver installed and that's it that's where i'm at i'm just like okay i it can't just be me right that distro hops i gotta i gotta make a video because i am maybe i'm just griping or i'm expecting too much but like what is what do we all do like what does everybody else do do you do you find something that you don't like and then you just dump it or you find you you find some challenge that is just seems too much and you just try something else thinking it's gonna fix it or or what's the deal like i i, I gotta know all right so moving on um one of the things that always drives me nuts in linux is the quality of recording from a microphone so i've got a a mic that's a the brand called newer it's a it's an xlr mic and uh, you know it's hanging on one of those fancy noise isolating deals whatever uh, i'm not really a mic guy but um so i've just installed uh actually i made sure that pipewire was the uh was the uh, audio system that I'm using. And then I have a, have a program called Easy Effects installed. So far, I've just added a deep noise remover. And uh, yeah, we'll give that a shot. So hopefully my audio sounds better. I, d I did play back the first couple of clips from this actual video and, and I don't know, it's this, I, I realize this isn't Windows and I don't have, you know, um, NVIDIA uh broadcast available you know um I, I guess there's some magic there that uh you know just makes the audio sound great just by the just literally by running it so um you know i, I don't want i don't want to go to school and be a sound engineer for however many years it takes just to get good audio in linux but anyway so hopefully it's better yeah here we are we're back i've got obviously obs is uh installed and of course i've got um i've got caden live now for the video editing i i don't know i haven't made up my mind because um open shot is is actually quite similar to the cyberlink product that i was using um there's definitely differences um the cyberlink product has a bunch of stuff that you know it's it's just a marketing selling points whatever but it's still useful um and i have messed around just doing some practice edits in both of these uh caden live definitely is a lot more involved um it took me forever just to figure out how to snip a clip like you would think that's the, that's the tool i mean even even in open shot you would think that's the tool you'd, you'd have a clip you would click that it'd cut it right nope doesn't not even close <laughs> so like razor tool i don't know what a razor tool is like it doesn't I, obviously i need to look it up and um you know in in open shot yeah so these these aren't what you think they would be uh in Kata live you just hit like control r and it clips your it clips your your or snips your clip into which is fine so i gotta I gotta learn some uh, some hotkeys. So I actually don't know which one I'm gonna end up sticking with. Um, I think they both probably have their pros and cons. Um, the open shot, I've, it's actually quite easy to use. Um, I also like open shot because you can raise or lower the volume on a track like stupid easy. Um, in Katie in Caden Live, it's um I'm still kind of reading about it, but yeah, it's it's more manual. And yeah, so I also have uh I've got Discord back. So that's fine, that's working. And of course I've got my uh Steam back up and running, which is good. So I'm kind of back where I started. I've got I've got the things that I that I need. Um, I haven't installed my uh, mail client yet. I'll do that later. I t honestly, it's I find it easier sometimes just to go to the web mail version of whatever you're running. I don't know. 
Um, so I, I typically do that a lot, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind having a mail client set up. So uh, I guess the gist of this video is, um, am I just being unrealistic or am I giving up too soon or should I do a bit more research or maybe I should just have like a bit more patience? Maybe that's the problem. Um, I have used Linux for literally decades. And again, I've, I've mentioned this before. Um, I am by no means uh, a Linux guru. I, I know some stuff. I know my way around, but I also, I also know my, my limitations and, and tolerance for, um, for this kind of BS. <laughs> and I, I think I'm, I think I understand why we, we have so many people who start a Linux journey, whether it's after a bunch of years or they're brand new and they get into these scenarios and they're just, no, forget it. I'm, I'm just not doing that. Right. And they go back to windows. Um, not that windows is flawless. We all know that. And, you know, my, um, mindset as of late in 2024 is, is, uh, you know, I don't like the direction that Microsoft is taking Windows in. And by the way, that's not just a 2024 experience for me. I've been noticing that um, over the last couple of uh, generations of Windows. But specifically now, I I don't like what Windows has become. I don't like the fact that, you know, I bought a license. I paid my own money for it. And I, what I have is an advertising platform in front of me that allows me to do some computing things. That freaking drives me nuts. Uh, even at my job, like I work in IT, and yes, there's things that the, the sysadmins can do, but there's still ads on our desktop at work, right? It's few and far between, but they're still there. And I, I know that they could, they could completely eliminate those group policy or whatever, right? Like they could take care of that, but, um, yeah. So Linux is kind of where I want to be, but I'd love to hear some experiences from you all. So go ahead and, uh, you know, put some, put some comments down there. Um, I would like to, I would love to see the, the conversation that happens from, from you all in those comments. And, uh, you know, I can learn something from it too, most definitely. Uh, if anything, since starting this YouTube channel is, um, I don't know as much as I thought I did. And, you know, some of the comments that are on some of the videos that if I took and when I have taken the time to verify the comment to make sure it's legit. Yeah. I definitely don't know as much as I thought I knew. So, you know, YouTube. Uh, running a YouTube channel uh, with the comments can be quite humbling. And, um, and that's the way I'm going to take them. Uh, I, I have seen and read about other YouTubers uh, who don't like those kind of comments. Um, but I, I, I welcome them. Like if I've done a bonehead move or I'm just talking out my ass and I get called out in the comments. Okay. That's, that's what happened, right? That's the way I go with it. So yeah, uh, definitely comment. I want to know. Um, and, and also like, you know, I always go back to Linux Mint. Um, so what are you using and why are you using it? And, you know, my use case is obviously now video editing and some light gaming, like, you know, Daisy plays just fine, but you know, it's you watching YouTube making and editing videos. Uh, that's pretty much my use case. So if you got a suggestion, lay it out. I'd love to read it. All right. I think that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and comment if you think I'm worthy. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.